Uh, I mean, the old theories about aging, you've got to throw them out. Most people at parties will tell you, oh, antioxidants, free radicals, DNA damage, or mutations. That is all, for the most part, incorrect. The idea that you can mimic it with molecules and it'll be as effective as intermittent fasting? I think the molecules will be better. Um, and not only that, when we add them on to a healthy diet and exercise in the animals, they do even better. It's like a supercharged mouse. Now, when you add them on to the mice, do you also add them on with intermittent fasting? And is there an additional benefit? Uh, we do. We do. Uh, one of the first molecules that, uh, infamous molecules that we uh, are known for is resveratrol from red wine. That molecule discovered it in my 30s, or at least linked it to aging. What we showed was that if you give it to a, a fat mouse, they're as healthy as a thin mouse. Uh, they live just as long, they didn't get heart disease and all of the other bad stuff. Then what we did was interesting. We gave it to the mice either every day in their food or let them skip a meal every day so that they were fed every other day. And that combination of resveratrol plus every other day feeding, we had the longest lifespan we'd ever seen. And it was so it was additive. As a Harvard geneticist and one of the world's leading anti-aging researchers, Sinclair has spent his career challenging our understanding of why we age. His work revolves around a revolutionary idea Aging isn't just something that happens to us. It's a process we might be able to control, slow down, and even reverse. Through decades of research, Sinclair has identified key biological pathways that influence how quickly we age. His focus? A group of genes called sirtuins, often called the longevity genes, and the molecules that activate them, like NMN and resveratrol, which we will cover in this video. But do these anti-aging strategies actually work? Or are they just another health fad? Let's dive deep into Sinclair's most controversial claims, separate fact from fiction, and explore whether we're on the verge of a longevity revolution or just chasing another impossible dream. 1. Intermittent Fasting While most of us worry about missing breakfast, Sinclair intentionally skips meals, sometimes going until dinner before eating anything at all. But we are talking about lengthening that window of not eating. So if you always are, are satiated, fed, your body says, hey, I've just killed an, you know, a mammoth. No problem. Don't need to worry about survival. This isn't just about weight loss. When we fast, our bodies undergo a remarkable transformation. Instead of focusing on digestion and energy storage, our cells switch into repair mode. Damaged proteins get recycled, inflammation decreases, and those all-important sirtuin genes kick into high gear. The concept makes evolutionary sense. For most of human history, food wasn't always available. Our bodies evolved to thrive during periods of scarcity, not the constant feast of modern life. I don't eat before shows. Like I take many, uh, many hours before a comedy show. And I used to just like eat whenever. I just eat, and, and then I would do shows and I would have a, a meal like an hour before the show and I don't know, I'm trying to wake up. I'm really trying to, come on, come on, come on. But here's the catch. While studies in animals show dramatic lifespan extension from fasting, up to 30% longer lives, human data is still catching up. Some people report incredible benefits. Better focus, more energy, improved metabolic health. Others struggle with irritability, fatigue, and obsessive thoughts about food. Two. NMN and NAD+. Before most of us have finished our first cup of coffee, Sinclair is already dosing himself with one gram of NMN, a molecule he believes could be the key to reversing aging. NAD+, is like the battery that powers our cells. It's essential for everything from DNA repair to energy production. However, as we age, our NAD+, levels plummet, and with them, our vitality. But as we get older, we lose NAD. So by the time you're 50, like I almost am, you have about the half the levels of once what you had when you were 20. So that's not good. And these sirtuins, they don't protect the body without high levels of NAD. The results in animals are nothing short of astonishing. Old mice given NMN regain the energy and endurance of their youth. Their muscles strengthen, their cognition improves, and their cells behave like they're decades younger. Yeah, NMN is is um, something I, I get from, from myself. I'm not selling anything. So I take a gram of NMN in the morning. Based on clinical trials, it's been shown that that will raise NAD. With or without food? Um, I take a little bit of yogurt that I make myself at home just to Look at me. Uh, yeah, I've been doing this for a while. Uh, and uh, I only start doing stuff when I see it working animals first. So take, take the yogurt, mix in some resveratrol. Resveratrol is great, but it's really insoluble. It's like brick dust. So in the yogurt, it'll dissolve. Take another half a gram of resveratrol and how much uh half a gram yeah it's, it's a it's a powder i have a few kilos left over from clinical trials in my basement but this is where things get controversial early human trials show nmn is safe we don't yet know if it will deliver the same dramatic anti-aging effects seen in mice 
that hasn't stopped supplement companies from selling NMN to hopeful consumers, or the FDA from cracking down on these premature claims. The promise is tantalizing. What if we could replenish our cellular batteries and turn back the clock on aging? But the reality is, we're still in the early days of understanding how this works in humans. 3. Resveratrol in red wine Found naturally in red wine and the skin of grapes, resveratrol made headlines years ago as the explanation for the French paradox, why wine-drinking French people had low rates of heart disease despite rich diets. But Sinclair's research reveals something more interesting. Resveratrol works by activating those same sirtuin genes that respond to fasting and exercise. In mouse studies, it's been shown to extend lifespan and protect against age-related diseases. Here's the catch. You'd need to drink about 1,000 glasses of red wine daily to get Sinclair's dose. That's why he takes it as a powder. Though even then, human studies have shown mixed results. 4. Metformin, the diabetes drug. While most people take vitamins before bed, Sinclair pops a metformin pill, a medication normally prescribed for type 2 diabetes. The evidence is compelling. Diabetics taking metformin don't just manage their blood sugar. They actually live longer than non-diabetics who don't take the drug. They show lower rates of cancer, heart disease, and even neurodegenerative conditions. But here's where it gets controversial. Doctors won't prescribe metformin for anti-aging yet because aging isn't officially recognized as a medical condition. That hasn't stopped longevity enthusiasts like Sinclair from obtaining it off-label. Uh, and then I also take at night some metformin, which is probably the most radical thing that I take, which is a, a prescribable drug for diabetes. The implications are huge. If a safe, well-understood, inexpensive drug like metformin can extend healthy lifespan, we might be on the verge of a medical revolution. But we need more research to know for sure. Five. Protein restriction. In a world obsessed with protein shakes and high meat diets, Sinclair does the opposite. He deliberately limits his protein intake. Sinclair mentions in the interview that amino acids tell your body to grow, but growing fast isn't the same as living long. The science behind this is fascinating. A cellular pathway called mTOR acts like a growth switch. When it's activated by eating lots of protein, especially animal protein, it tells your body to build and grow. That's great for building muscle, but constant growth might accelerate aging. And our bodies want to do one of two things. We either want to grow really fast and reproduce fast, build up a lot of muscle, cells divide. That's great in the short run. You know, you'll be fertile, you can run, but actually that's at the expense of hunkering down and building a long-lasting body. Mm. And it's a trade-off over time. And so animals that grow fast and reproduce fast, like a mouse, will only have a short lifespan. Whereas a whale that grows slowly and reproduces slowly will live a long time. Animal studies show that restricting protein, especially certain amino acids, extends lifespan. But this creates a dilemma for athletes and fitness enthusiasts. More protein means more muscle now, but potentially shorter lifespan later. Six. Cold and heat therapy. Sinclair's recovery routine is, after pushing his body in the gym, Sinclair doesn't just rest. He stresses it even more with sauna sessions, followed by ice-cold plunges. This concept, called hormesis, suggests that mild stressors, like temporary heat or cold exposure, activate our body's defense and repair systems. Studies on sauna use show remarkable benefits including lower rates of heart disease and dementia. Like you, I, I love saunas. I like to put my body in some temperature stress, so I go heat, and then I jump in a cold bath, mm. back and forth. That, that works well for yeast. We can do that in the lab, and they, they live 30% longer, so... Joe Rogan is a believer, too. As he says in the interview, sauna, then ice bath feels like a reset button. But the bigger question is, in our modern world of constant comfort, air conditioning, heated seats, endless snacks, have we removed all the small stresses that keep our bodies resilient? David Sinclair's approach to longevity is radical, no doubt. Fasting for hours, taking experimental molecules, using off-label drugs, it's not for the faint of heart. But his goal isn't just about adding years to life, it's about adding life to years. The dream isn't simply to live to 120. It's to stay healthy, sharp, and active until the very end. The science is still evolving. Some of these interventions might turn out to be breakthroughs, Others may be dead ends. But one thing is clear. The old idea that aging is inevitable and unstoppable is being challenged like never before. So what do you think? Would you try these anti-aging strategies? Let us know in the comments. And if you found this deep dive fascinating, don't forget to like and subscribe for more explorations of science's biggest questions.